The content standard for this lesson is The learners demonstrate an understanding of the fundamentals of the hospitality and tourism industry. The performance standard is The learners apply skills in food preparation and services following safety precautions. Here are the learning competency and learning objectives for this lesson. Short review of the previous lesson. Directions. Analyze the photos and identify the cooking methods shown in the pictures. What can you say about the photos below? They show the possible outcomes of miscalculating food ingredients and heat temperature. The following are the content area vocabulary. Calculation is the process of performing mathematical operations to determine a result or solve a problem. It involves manipulating numerical or symbolic information according to predefined rules or algorithms for a meaningful outcome. Conversion refers to changing something from one form, use, or state to another. This could include converting units of measurement, transforming data from one format to another, or changing the purpose or function of something. Dry ingredients typically refer to solid, non-liquid components used in cooking and baking. These ingredients are measured by volume or weight and include various items commonly found in the kitchen. Unit of measurement is a standardized quantity used to express a physical quantity. It provides a reference for comparing and quantifying the magnitude of a particular attribute, such as length, mass, time, temperature, electric current, and more. The English system. The term English system can refer to various systems. It is a set of units commonly used in the United States and a few other countries. It includes measurements such as feet, inches, miles for length, pounds for weight, and gallons for volume. The metric system. Metric system is an international decimal measurement system widely used worldwide for scientific, industrial, and everyday purposes. It provides a consistent and logical framework for expressing measurements, and its units are based on powers of 10, making conversions between different units straightforward. The metric system is also known as the international system of units, the modern form of the metric system. Liquid ingredients are substances that are in a fluid state and are commonly used in cooking and food preparation. These ingredients contribute moisture, flavor, and sometimes nutritional value to recipes. Food material generally refers to the raw or unprocessed substances used to prepare food. These are the basic ingredients that form the foundation of dishes and recipes. Food materials can be of plant, animal, or mineral origin and are transformed into finished meals through various cooking and culinary processes. Kitchen mathematics refers to applying mathematical principles and concepts in cooking and food preparation. It involves using mathematical skills to measure ingredients, adjust recipe quantities, understand cooking times, and make conversions. Measuring techniques refers to the methods and procedures used to quantify and accurately determine the quantity of ingredients in cooking and baking. These techniques are essential for achieving consistent and successful results in the kitchen. Different ingredients, such as dry and liquid components, require specific measuring approaches. Kitchen math. 
the English system, and the metric system of measurement. The English system of kitchen measurement, also known as the imperial system, is a set of units used for measuring ingredients in cooking and baking, while many countries, including the United Kingdom, have transitioned to the metric system. The imperial system is still used in some places, especially in traditional recipes and the United States. Here are some common units in the English system of kitchen measurement. Here are some common units in the English system of kitchen measurement. The metric system, also known as the International System of Units, is a decimal-based system of measurement used globally in most countries. It provides a straightforward and consistent way to measure quantities. In the metric system, there are base units for different types of measurements, and multiples or submultiples of these units are used for larger or smaller quantities. Here are some common units in the metric system, particularly those relevant to kitchen measurements. In the metric system, conversions between units are based on powers of 10, which makes calculations and conversions relatively easy. For example, there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter and 1,000 grams in a kilogram. When using the metric system in the kitchen, ingredients are typically measured in grams or milliliters. For example, a recipe might call for 250 grams of flour or 500 milliliters of water. The metric system is widely used in the culinary world because of its precision and simplicity in scaling recipes. It's important to note that the conversion factors between units are not always straightforward, example fluid ounces to ounces in weight, so using the correct unit for the measured ingredient is essential. Additionally, when following recipes, it's advisable to use the system of measurement specified in the recipe to ensure accuracy. The table below shows the English to metric volume conversions. It is important to note that, when a high level of precision is not required, basic equivalents may be used as follows. 1 cup is equal to 250 ml, 1 pint is equal to 500 ml, 1 quart is equal to liter, and 1 gallon is equal to 4 liters. Another English to metric conversion table. Note. The ounces referred to in this weight conversion table are not fluid ounces. Measuring food material. Using standard measuring equipment and standard measuring techniques will help ensure successful products. To achieve consistent results each time a particular recipe is used, identical measuring procedures must be followed. Every major ingredient, dry or liquid, requires a special measuring technique. Liquids are measured in standard glass or clear plastic cups with the exact capacity specified in a recipe. If it is necessary to weigh foods, use a weighing scale. The following are the different measuring techniques. How to measure liquid ingredients. Place a liquid measuring cup on a level surface. Have the measuring line at a level to ensure the exact measurement. How to measure dry ingredients or powdered materials. Gently spoon the ingredients into the cup, piling high or filling the cup to overflowing, then level off with a metal spatula or straight-edged knife. Powdered materials, such as baking powder, baking soda, salt, etc., must be stirred first to break up any lump. Dip a dry spoon in the powder and level off with the edge of the spatula or the knife. How to measure sugar. For granulated or refined sugar, sift if lumpy. Spoon into the measuring cup and level off. Do not pack or tap the sugar down. For brown sugar, remove or mash the lumpy sugar, then packed firmly into the cup with a finger until even with the rim. When the cup is inverted, brown sugar will hold its shape. For solid shortening. With a rubber spatula, pack into the cup. Run spatula through shortening to release air. Fill again and level off. For butter or margarine. Cut the desired amount when using a bar or stick of butter. Use these equivalents, 1 half pounds to 1 cup, 1 quarter pounds to half a cup. Shredded cheese, 
lightly place the shreds in a dry measuring cup until even with its rim. Do not pack the cheese into the cup. 4 Spices To measure less than 1 quarter teaspoon, use your finger or divide 1 quarter teaspoon in half. This is usually referred to as a dash or a pinch. The following are the abbreviations used in measuring ingredients. Measurements and conversions of temperature. And the formula for the computation from centigrade or degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. And Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Weight and measure equivalent. Approximate mass and measure. Having correct measurements in cooking is crucial for achieving the desired taste, texture, and consistency of dishes. Accurate ingredient measurements ensure the right balance of flavors and prevent overseasoning or underseasoning. They also help in controlling cooking times and temperatures, which can affect the dish's outcome. Without proper measurements, recipes may not turn out as intended, leading to food waste or dissatisfaction. Consistency in measurements also allows for repeatable success, making cooking more reliable and enjoyable. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.